And just like that, Tetro McMillan, a.k.a. T-Mac, flips from the Oregon Ducks to the Arizona Wildcats and becomes the highest-ranked football recruit in the history of U of A's program. Welcome back to News 4 Tucson Sports Saturday. I'm David Kelly. Highest-ranked ever? So says the Wildcats in this tweet they put out. But what is that in comp comparison to? Well, let's take a look at 24-7 Sports' historical list of Wildcat recruits. Now, it's important to note that these rankings only go back to the turn of the century, so it doesn't take into account any of the Wildcat College Football Hall of Famers or all-time greats like Ricky Hunley and Teddy Bruschi, etc. But you see, McMillan comes in ahead of Devin Ross, Mike Bell, Nick Costa, and Rob Gronkowski. Only Bell and Gronk played in the NFL, and in terms of Gronk, next stop, Canton, Ohio. Tetro McMillan had 88 catches this past season at Anaheim Servite High School. 88 grabs for 1,300 yards and 18 touchdowns, most coming from his quarterback and fellow U of A commit Noah Fafita. Here's what Wildcats wide receivers coach Kevin Cummings had to say earlier today about T-Mac. So T-Mac, T-Mac is, is all ball. T-Mac loves the game of football, um, and you see it the way he plays. You know, he's got this volleyball background, um, which I think is why he's so explosive, you know, when it comes to catching the ball. His catch radius is unreal. He's very light on his feet. He'll tell you, you know, I don't need to be a burner because I've got great routes, great hands, um, and I know the game. And so he just goes out there and balls. Now, this one signing alone has vaulted this Arizona football class into the top 25 nationally, number two in the Pac-12 behind Stanford. Now, in terms of the two primary recruiting services we look at, uh, Rivals has T-Mac listed as a five-star recruit, 11th overall nationally. 24-7 Sports lists him as a four-star recruit at number 46 in the nation. So some disagreement there, but what no one is disagreeing about is this is a great get for Jed Fish and his program.